Welcome everybody, I'm Adam. And in this problem, what we're going to be doing is using our sum and difference formulas to find the exact values of the sine, cosine, and tangent functions of this angle right here, negative 5 pi over 12. Now where the sum and difference formulas come into play is pretty much in problems just like this. Well, what we have is kind of what you might call a non-standard angle, meaning we've learned the values at angles of, say, multiples of pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3, and pi over 2, but something as a multiple of pi over 12 or anything else like that, we don't really know. So with our sum and difference formulas, what we have is formulas that tell us the sine, cosine, and tangents of sums or differences of angles. So the first thing we want to start with is writing our, call it the goofy angle, as a sum or difference of angles. And what we want to shoot for is angles that we do know the values of, like we just said, multiples of pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3, or pi over 2. So here we go. Now, granted, there is a little bit of trial and error with this. Have to think a little bit. So what we have is negative 5 pi over 12. And we're going to write this as a sum or difference of two separate angles, right? So we're just going to do some fractional arithmetic. So common denominator right now, 12. And so what numbers can I add or subtract to get negative uh, 5, negative 5 pi? Well, we think about this a little bit. I have something negative. Let's say 3 pi minus 8 pi would give us a negative 5 pi. Okay? And like we said, we want to try and get these angles as the standard angles that we know. And we see that 3 pi over 12, our 3's will cancel. 3 will cancel with the 12, giving us, say, pi over 4 minus, and 8 canceling with 2, or simplifying, giving us 2 pi over 3. So looking at this, what we have is a difference of angles. So I'm going to think of this as some u minus v. So let's go ahead and start with finding sine. So using our difference formula for sine, our sine of u minus v is equal to sine u times cosine v minus cosine u times sine v. And we're going to use that plugging in our angles over here. So our sine of u minus v, or u, pi over 4 minus 2 pi over 3, and plugging in everything over here is equal to sine, sine of pi over 4 times cosine 2 pi over 3 minus cosine of pi over 4 times sine of 2 pi over 3. And each of these we can find the values of because there's those standard angles that we know. So what do we have? Well, sine of pi over 4 is positive, say, root 2 over 2, times cosine 2 pi over 3 is negative a half, minus cosine pi over 4, again, is positive root 2 over 2. And we're subtracting this whole quantity, so we should put in some parentheses. So minus cosine pi over 4 root 2 over 2 times sine of 2 pi over 3. times positive root 3 over 2. And we just simplify this a little bit. OK. So we have positive root 2 over 2 times negative a half minus the quantity root 2 over 2 times square root of 3 over 2. Now we notice if we multiply our denominators, we get a common denominator, say, of 4. Okay, And if we multiply the numerators, we'd have negative root 2 minus root 2 times root 3, which can be simplified as the square root of 6. 
Now we have two negatives. So what we can do is bring the negative to the outside and have, say, positive root 2 plus root 6 in our numerator, okay? which simplifies this. Okay, so there's the sine of the angle, negative 5 pi over 12. So let's go ahead and look at cosine. Okay, so again, difference of our angles. So we have our formula of cosine u minus v is equal to cosine u times cosine v plus sine u times sine v. So using that, just like we did here, we're going to have cosine of pi over 4 minus 2 pi over 3 is equal to, plugging everything into our formula, cosine of pi over 4 times cosine of 2 pi over 3 plus sine of pi over 4 times sine of 2 pi over 3. And we just simplify this and cosine pi over 4 is positive root 2 over 2 times cosine of 2 pi over 3 is negative a half plus sine of pi over 4 is positive root 2 over 2 times sine of 2 pi over 3 is positive root 3 over 2. Okay, and combining this, well, like we had in the last time, 2 times 2 in our denominators gives us a common denominator of 4, and multiplying the numerators, we have a negative root 2 here, plus root 2 times root 3 again is root 6, so it could be negative root 2 plus root 6, or we'll write it as root 6 minus root 2. Make that a 2. And there's our cosine of negative 5 pi over 12. And lastly, we want to do tangent. Let's see. So tangent of u minus v is equal to right, tangent u minus tangent v all over 1 plus tangent u times tangent v. And here we go. So our tangent, pi over 4 minus 2 pi over 3 is equal to tangent of pi over 4 minus tangent of 2 pi over 3, all divided by 1 plus tangent pi over 4 times tangent of 2 pi over 3. All right, we simplify this. So tangent of pi over 4, we know is positive 1, and we're subtracting the quantity tangent of 2 pi over 3, which is negative square root of 3, all divided by 1 plus, again, tangent of pi over 4 is 1 times tangent of 2 pi over 3, which is negative square root of 3. Okay. And simplify this. So our two negatives in the numerator are going to cancel, giving us 1 plus square root of 3. And we have 1 minus square root of 3 in the denominator. Which simplifies that. 
So from our angle, negative 5 pi over 12, using the sum and difference formulas up here, we wrote the angle as a difference between two angles, pi over 4 and negative 2 pi over 3, and simplified all of them, getting our results sine, cosine, and tangent. Thank you very much.